All right, hello everybody. Uh, first time posting a YouTube video. Uh, some of you might find this helpful out there. Uh, this is a 2005 Toyota Prius. And uh, the other day I got into a situation where I had a very rough running car. Wasn't sure if the transmission slash transaxle was having a problem or if the engine was having a problem. And it came right after I pressure washed, uh, pressure washed the engine. I thought, man, that thing looks dirty. <clears throat> 300 plus thousand miles. I need to clean this off. And the next day uh, we had a pretty major problem where we had to stop running the car. But here's, here's what I found. Um, these are the ignition coil packs right here. This is number four, this is number three, number two, and number one. In coil pack number four, this is the old one. I replaced them all. They didn't need to be replaced, but since I had already bought them, not knowing exactly what the problem was, I just decided to go ahead and put them in anyway. So I've got four good used ignition coil packs that, uh, not sure what I'm going to do with. But anyways, there's these little gaskets here that go, and I don't know how to do this while I'm holding the phone here, but uh, anyways, so there's this gasket. There's a little lip on the valve cover, and you can see that there's a little lip on that end, so the flat flat spot goes up against the coil pack housing and uh, this little beveled side faces down towards the engine but uh, anyways when I removed number four right there I found that this gasket was missing it was just not there so I don't know if it rotted away and just you know fell out on the road someplace. I'm not sure why that was gone or if when they changed the plugs, they dropped it, lost it, forgot about it. I'm not sure. But anyways, after pressure washing the engine and after removing this, I found water all up and down this shaft and inside where the spark plug uh, connects inside. So um, though I don't have any water to show you, I, uh, I wiped this shaft down, wiped it dry. Then I got high compressed uh, uh, compressed air and uh, blew the inside of that out uh, until I no longer saw water coming out. After I did that, I pulled this the old one out. This is the new one that I've already put in because I'm on my way to putting it back together. But I run compressed air down in the spark plug hole with the spark plug still installed so I didn't get debris and water down into the cylinder head which could probably cause more problem and when I did that I was surprised at just how much water came out of there so uh, my thought on that is is uh, the reason uh, we had the misfire the rough running the sputtering is uh, because that gasket was missing and all that water got down into that spark plug hole. And uh, since water conducts electricity, there was a bunch of arcing and sparking and, uh, and causing it to be out of time and causing the misfire. So anyways, like I said, clean that out with uh, compressed air. So make sure you're wearing your safety glasses and uh, your earplugs and being safe while you're doing this. But uh, relatively simple job. Like I said, I, I went in and replaced all four spark plugs. When I pulled them out, they were the uh, OEM uh, iridiums and I'm putting the brand new OEM iridium plugs back in. This is right here, what the old ones looked like. And uh, to me, they don't look like they have much wear. They're nice and brown. It's not really a problem. Uh, that's what came out and that's, uh, that's exactly what I put back in there. Um, some, some say, you know, put, uh, anti-seize on there. I didn't do it on these, but if you do use the anti-seize sparingly and use that, which is approved, 
uh, when you go back on the threads. But like I said, I, I put them in dry. Uh, some put them in with anti-seize. So however you feel about that is up to you. And um, so, yeah. So the, like I said, the ignition coils were not, uh, were not in need of replacement. I took it out for a test drive after I um, got the water out of the hole and out of the out of the end of the uh, condenser or not the condenser the ignition coil rather uh, so after I dried it out real good everything was fine there was really no need to replace plugs or ignition coils but since I already had them thinking that I'd already done some damage I went ahead and put the new stuff in anyways so uh, when I test drove it uh, the P uh, zero 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 p and four zeros that code went away the p zero three zero zero the 300 code went away and the p zero three zero four the 304 code the p 304 code it also uh went away uh and the car runs smoothly now so uh that was what i found that's the fix um the pieces that i had to remove i had to remove this this goes right there it just takes uh, a couple of um those bolts there and I just positioned that out of the way um, that was these are uh, 10 that's a 10 mil that's a 10 mil all these uh, ignition coil packs those are all 10 mil uh, and then the only other tool that was kind of special was is I had a 5 ace uh, spark plug wrench and it's special it has a, a rubber grabber in there so that after you're done taking the plug out It'll hold on to the plug and draw it up so you don't have to have a special grabber to or magnet to grab the plug out of the uh, out of the spark plug hole. So that's kind of a handy tool to have. I had a little homemade extension uh, that I made because I didn't have the other. So that's um, you're looking at the tools that I had here. These clips, I use these uh, I use these two screwdrivers here. These clips that go on, and I'm going to show how they go on. They just um, these can be a little bit difficult, and I'm just going to slide that on there, and it's on. But you basically just have to push down on that side of the clip, and I used a screwdriver, a flat screwdriver, to push down on this end, and a flat screwdriver to push on this end, and then push here to push it back off of the ignition coil. And, uh, you know, so it's a little bit tight and uh, small difficulty, but easily overcome. Anyways, uh, that's about it. Uh, fixed, fixed the problem. And uh, we love Toyota. This one's got 300 plus thousand miles, still run like a champ. You guys have a great day.